in America we have rights. We have the rights to our property. We have the rights to our lives. Under God's plans, we have the rights to choose Him again and again. When we choose God, we rarely sin. When we choose away from the Lord's house, we often sin. Sometimes we get to a point in our life where we look back at our life and go, Wow, how much did I win? Or was I constantly in sin? And are you still in sin because your belief is, I'm going to win? I often ask my siblings, what do you think you're going to win? What arrogance do you have before Jesus Christ? Are you getting prophetic gifts? Are you learning the wisdom of Solomon? Are you in the Word at any time? Are you reading about God to your mother or your father or your friend? Are you talking about Jesus in a way that's correct and laudable? Or are you believing your attitudes are everything that God is? Your attitudes and your opinions about a person's situations, a person's experiences, a person's marriage, a person's loves, a person's house, a person's belongings, a person's body are not yours, is what you might say if you're trying to tout Christ today. But the reality is, are you really an expert in the Bible today? Do you really know the exegesis of things in any way? Or are you just touting a few verses that make you feel good? When I was first taken into a situation by the Fisher's Police Department and a lying woman who represented them in her stupidville, whose name at the moment I'm being choiceful to not remember. Oh, Ellison, I think her name was. The men and the women there were touting scripture as if their job was a pastor and a minister to a man that they were proving they had been stalking and harming. 